What's going on guys? Welcome back to Fallout 4 with our main man Lester. Uh, what were we doing? Kill the Raiders in Corvega assembly plant. Uh, that's the mission that we, I think we set out to do in the uh, previous part. So I guess we're just going to set out for the, uh, the goal here and just sort of walk around and see what happens. I also want to apologize for not uploading uh, Fallout every day. I know that saying this right now is not very immersive, but, you know, I haven't really had time to record too much. Um, I've been incredibly busy the last couple of weeks with, you know, work and university and all that. It's really annoying, so... Um, sadly, I haven't had as much time as I'd like to have for recording purposes. Um, so I'm hoping that, you know, after probably this week or next week, it'll calm down a little bit. And then I can, um, record some... Oh, God, what is that? What are those things, man? Alright. Someone actually gave me a tip on how to quick save, which was very, very fortunate. That worked. Oh, it didn't die? Oh, this is gonna be terrible. Oh my god. I'm sorry, I just shot duck meat in the face. Yeah, you know what? They're actually not that bad. Hold. No, wait, don't. Okay. Follow. Let's go. Let's go, boy. I was just trying to loot and he got in my way. Alright, that was pretty doable. So, what's this location anyway? Let's check it out. Is there anything good in the bus? There's absolutely nothing in this bus. Alright. I was hoping to find at least something. Starlight Drive-In. Alright. Oh, there's a mannequin again. I don't know if, if you guys have noticed this yet, but these are just everywhere. Oh, thank you. Uh, nice try. Uh, what is that? What is going on? Oh, God. What? Oh, duck me just disappeared. I don't know why. Oh god, rabbit mole rat. That sounds slightly more dangerous. Get him, dog meat. Get pistol whipped. Well, that wasn't too bad. I was expecting something uh, far more dangerous, but that was pretty doable. Um, all right, hardened pipe pistol. So we might want to actually get the grip off of this one and just put it on the hardened one, but okay. Let's use the rifle for now, then. Let's see what else there is here. Oh, God. Are you kidding me? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what? I was running away from it. That was a pretty big explosion. Now we get to fight the dogs again. Oh. Totally not what I meant to do, by the way. Get out of here, dogs. I don't have any grenades. Oh, I don't. This could, this could be very bad. Get out of here, dog. Dog meat. Save me. What did I just say? I said save me. Is, is he ditching me? No, he's... Okay. Alright, these dogs are not too bad, actually. They're quite easy. Uh, they're probably slightly worse than mole rats, but still, you know. Uh, not too much of a threat, really. Alright, so let's do the do it right this time. Let's grab my pipe rifle. And quick save here as well. I honestly love the quick save in command. What the hell did you just do? I think he just accidentally triggered the mine that killed me. Alright. I mean, that's not bad. Right, I'm gonna take everything that is not bolted down. So I can uh, destroy it later. And maybe make some stuff for our settlement. I probably will not waste too much time on settlements unless you guys want me to. Uh, just let me know. Alright. 
Because it is really fun, but, you know, I've already spent quite some time on my own. And if I'm gonna, you know, like, uh, build settlements on, um, multiple characters, that's just gonna take forever to do. Alright, let's deal with these mole rats. I know they're out here. There we go. Ooh, that was pretty good. That must have been a headshot then. Get out of here. Gold watch, sweet. Oh god. I don't know what I'm standing on, but... God. Kill the rabbit one. That one's just nuts, man. Is he poisoning dog meat? Whoa, that one just went flying. I don't know why. Alright, so I think that was pretty much it in terms of mole rats. God, these things are disgusting. Look at them. Alright, yeah, it looks like we got everything, so that's good. Oh, alright. Gonna have to pick the lock. Pretty doable stuff right there. Hello. Some good stuff. Bag of cement. That's actually pretty cool. Uh, those are usually pretty expensive. You can buy them from merchants, but they ask quite a bit of money for it. Um, alright, let's see. Oh, right. Okay, so this is also a, um, a settlement, potentially. So what we could do is now we can actually build stuff here, which is really cool. Um, so we could get, like, a water pump. There's no people living here right now, so obviously it's not worth the trouble. Um, but it is an option. All right. Okay, so let's start by removing the radiation from this area. All right. Which is actually pretty easy to do. All you gotta do is go like that. Oh, God, I'm radiating to death. I think it just stopped. All right, sweet. Um, so, yeah, that was pretty much it. Let's scrap some cars. Scrap this thing. We don't need those anymore. This is actually a pretty cool location, honestly, for a settlement. Just, you know, an abandoned drive-in theater. I mean, that's pretty American stuff right there. I like it. Street lamp. Let's just scrap it all. Um, so I'll probably just build stuff in Sanctuary. Or I could build stuff here. Or the, uh, the, the rocket station thing. I'm not really sure. Uh, what I would like to do. Alright. Oh, get rid of all the cars. That's a lot of steel. But, you know, you need a lot of steel if you're going to, uh, build metal walls. Alright. Get rid of some trees so that we have more wood. And just like that, we have a whole lot of building supplies, which normally we wouldn't have, so... That's pretty cool. Alright. Definitely want to get rid of the cars because they um, <clears throat> usually mess me up quite a bit. Like, I'll just be standing next to them and someone will, you know, toss a grenade and they'll just die because they uh, explode. Alright. I'm going to leave the machine because I kind of like those. Alright. It looks like I may have filled up my inventory with... Oh, actually, I have not. Alright, let's check this out. It just said that it transferred something to the workbench. And if it did, I might want to actually bring it along. Wait, why is this in a workshop? What? Yeah, I'm taking all of this. Of course I am. And I just took all of it. And that's a little too much weight. Alright, so I have... A lot of steel, but it doesn't weigh too much. So, I guess it doesn't matter? Extinguisher. I'm not really sure what I just picked up. I must have picked up something that was very, very heavy, though. Uh, checkered shirt. Gas mask with goggles. What did I pick up that is this heavy? Oh, this one's actually better than what I have. Alright, so I can drop the short pipe rifle. Um... All right, let me just check. I want to see if one steel... Because for steel, what it says is that it weighs... 0.2. Is that per thing? Yes, it is. Oh, God. All right, yep. Gotcha. 
But I could bring like... That's pretty doable. Alright, let's bring 21 more. I was gonna leave 200 behind. Alright, sweet. Really? I could just leave like a... Scalpel, pack of cigarettes. Let's drop the mole hat right in here. And there you go. Alright, so I'm gonna take all this stuff back to Sanctuary. So that if I am gonna build stuff, I'll just do it over there. Uh, like I would prefer. I honestly just like the idea of having Sanctuary as sort of a, um... Well, a Sanctuary, you know? A home base. It's just nice to pick one of those. I could also go with the, uh, the Rat Rocket Station, but I'm not really sure... If I wanna do that... I guess that could be fun, though, because I haven't really seen anybody else built there. Granted, I haven't watched anybody else play the game. But I'm pretty sure that most people would start building stuff in, uh, Sanctuary. You know what? Let's go to Red Rocket. Let's check this out. There's nobody there yet, but I know that eventually people will start showing up there as well. So I'm just gonna get rid of my steel and my wood, if you know what I'm saying, and just get that up in the workbench. Alright, let's do this. And then also, there's a little thing that I wanted to, uh, alright. Store junk. Boom. It's a lot of junk. Alright, so it's actually all gone. That's good. Um, right, weapons. Okay, calibrated. Come on. Alright, I'm just gonna scrap that one. Scrap that one, definitely. Scrap that. Uh, Alright. So we got a pipe pistol, pipe rifle. So what I like to do is just put all the standard stuff on here. Just a normal barrel. There you go. Just a normal grip. Yep. Uh, standard sights, yep. No compensator, yep. And then I put all of that on the rifle that we have. Uh, so put a... More sensitive trigger, better rate of fire. I guess that's cool. Alright, short light barrel. It would make it a bit lighter. The accuracy and range would go down quite a bit though. Alright, let's leave it as is then. Uh, sharpshooter's grip would make it a pistol again. We don't want that. Yeah, we need one of these. So we want, um... What's it called? We want gun nut, definitely. Alright, let's get a compensator on here to improve accuracy. I don't really care for the bayonet too much. Actually, I haven't really used it. But let's just put a compensator on there for now. And hard... Do we want to make it hardened? Well, I guess hard, air trigger is fine. I don't really want to use, like, some a bunch of precious resources to, uh... To mess with this. We could actually take this, um... Yeah. We could just go like that. And we have a free hardened receiver. That's fine. Alright, so let's scrap these then. Stub barrel, yep. I'm gonna keep the old one. Alright, so that pistol now sucks. And there you go. So we got rid of some, some stuff that we didn't really need. Uh, wasn't there an armor? What are you doing, buddy? What are you doing? Look at this. I mean, that's a cool looking rifle. You know, it's pretty cool. Um, <clears throat> alright, so apparently there is no armor workbench in the station over here. All they have is a normal workshop. Uh, well, actually, it might be outside. And it is, alright. Alright, so I'm wearing all this stuff. So I could also change the, um, armor I'm wearing, but I need a bunch of different resources for that as well. Um, but you can change a lot of stuff, which is actually really cool for the, uh, the armor. I'm obviously not gonna do that right now, because I'm pretty sure that we will find, uh, better armor... eventually. Hello. Uh, so, you know, we will find better armor, so I'm not gonna, like, waste my time on this... armor that kinda sucks. But, uh, it's an option. That's a lot of metal I'm gonna get from this. More rat den, okay. No, that sounds great. That, uh, definitely sounds like a place I want to hang out. 
There we go. I saw one. Come on, guys. I know you're in here. Alright, so he's back there. That worked. Oh, boy. They're not happy about me killing their buddy, though. Nice try. You'll never get me. Alright, it's pretty good. I got a lot of stuff over here. I'm just gonna take most of this. So I can, uh, scrap it. And get more stuff for the station up there. Alright, why are they, like, collecting all kinds of weird... Parts? Broom? I mean, what are mole rats gonna do with a broom, really? Plunger? Alright. At least the, the plunger will give me some, um... Oh, God. Don't want to go over there. What's that, though, then? Ah, fusion core. All right. That's actually pretty nice. You can uh, put that in your power armor. In case you guys didn't know. Oh, there's definitely something else in here. Oh, God. It's a rabbit one. Dog meat. Protect me. Protect your master. Critical hit. Come on. We can almost do a critical hit. It's a little bit weird that it's not at all like the old Fallout, so that you have to sort of save up for a uh, critical hit. I'm not saying it's a bad system or anything. It's just um, kind of weird, especially if you don't... Oh, God, I didn't mean to drink that at all. Uh, but it's kind of weird, especially if you never really used vats that much in the old games. Like myself. Oh. I did enjoy it quite a bit, because who doesn't, but... It just felt so slow, you know? Man, this one's actually pretty annoying. There you go. Alright, not bad. We got some good stuff. Uh, let's see. Yeah, that's actually worse than what I have, so drop it. That one's better. Alright. Now, this stuff isn't worth anything, so I might as well just drop it. All right. Well, that was the... Oh, hello. Some pretty good stuff in here, really. Oh, drink it again. Did not mean to. I'm just used to seeing something and then, you know, it's saying press E to pick it up. But this time around, uh, there was nothing to... Oh, wait, that stuff explodes. You know what? Let's see if this works, actually. Let's do some experimenting. Let's go, mole rat. Let's have some fun, shall we? Let's have some... Get out of my way, dog meat. Too heavy to carry. It's just a mole rat. I just carried one. So what is about that one guy that I... You know, why would I not be able to carry that one, then? Okay. Just get up there. There you go. Oh, this is gonna be good. I sincerely hope that this will be worth it eventually. All right, let's get one more. The rabid one. This one was quite the troublemaker, so he gets to pay. Let's do it. Oh, look at them being all buddy-buddy up there, huh? You guys talking trash to me? You want to mess with me? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Well, that was not quite what I was hoping for, but... You know, they didn't look... Oh, what are you looking at, buddy? You want to go next, huh? Get out of here. All right. Yeah, I was thinking that maybe they would explode in a giant, you know, rain of, um... Mole rat limbs, but that did not happen. I'm pretty sure that would have happened in older Fallout games, so that's a bummer. It's not like, you know, a big deal. I'm just saying, it would have been nice. Alright, let's drop my junk that I just picked up. So we can build stuff here. Um, it'll be a little while before we actually need to do it. Or, I mean, before we can actually uh, 
you know, build something here. All right, let's cook some some stuff as well. Dirty Wastelander. Oh, that's a drink. You found something. What is it, boy? What'd you find? Where'd he go? Oh, here we go. Not bad. You're a good boy. Who's a good boy? That's right, you're a good boy. Even though you're, you know, in a video game, you don't even actually exist. Why do I even like the dog? I don't know. So weird how we can just instantly bond with dogs, even when they're not even real. We're just instantly smitten with them. At least I'm pretty sure that everybody who saw, you know, Fallout 4 gameplay before it even came out saw the dog and was instantly like, yep. I'm gonna I'm gonna hang out with this dog. Myself included, it just looks so nice. Look at him. Little cutie. Although I have to admit the goggles actually ruin him a little bit. But you know. There needs to be some downside to uh having him around. Hello. That's pretty good. Alright, so that is all the junk. Uh, next up, what are we gonna do? I guess we're just gonna go to Corvega then. And, um... Kill all the raiders there. Um... Yeah, that'll be a pretty long one. So I guess in the next part, I'll travel to the Starlight Drive-In. And we will, um... Travel over to the... Corvega plant from there. So... Yeah, that's gonna be in the next part. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Thanks for watching, guys. Sorry again about, you know, not being able to upload a whole lot right now. And I'll be back soon with some more Fallout 4. Uh, thanks for watching, guys.